Sometimes in life, you're gonna have to do something you don't want to do. And for me, that was getting an office job. It was something completely new to me and I didn't really want to be there. But I learned to adapt. And this video is gonna try and help those of you out there in a similar situation. Survive your first office job. First up, getting dressed for the job. Now, I'm gonna assume that since this is your first job, you probably don't have any work clothes to start off with. Now, that's no big deal, okay? Let me show you exactly what you're gonna need. One coat, four shirts, two pairs of pants, five ties, a belt, black socks, and one pair of shoes. See, easy and simple. Now, let's move on to the next That'll item. That'll be seven hundred and eight dollars. What? The clothes. It's gonna be seven hundred and eight dollars. But, I don't have that much money. Well then, I recommend you get a job so you can make more money. What do you think the clothes are for? They're so that I can get a job, so that I can get the money. How am I expected to have $700 before I can even go get a job? What am I supposed to do? Go out and suck some dick for a work outfit? <laughs> so, now that you got your work outfit, you're gonna need one more item that is very important. A briefcase. This bad boy is gonna help you carry all your important work files, your writing supplies, and basically everything you need to be able to take your work on the go. As for me, I made sure my briefcase always had... A protein bar, a bottled water, and a banana. Oh yeah, that's right. My briefcase was just a lunchbox because I'm a terrible worker. Next, learning the office supplies. Now, an office has a lot of different tools and supplies that you're going to be working with on a daily basis. And it's important that you use them correctly. Every day, you'll probably have to print out a large amount of papers. It's just the nature of an office job. So even though it might seem weird, it's actually perfectly normal to print out hundreds of pages at a time. What's not normal though, is to take those freshly printed pages and hold them against your face to feel how warm they are. Apparently, people think that's weird. Next, sticky notes. You can use them to take down a note and stick it to your desk or computer so you don't forget about it later. It's perfectly okay to do that. What's not okay to do is stick 50 of them all over your cubicle like you're trying to solve a murder case. Especially when most of those sticky notes are just different lineups and rotations you would use if you were the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers. This right here is a hole punch. It is used to cut holes into paper. It is not used so that you can make little confetti parties at your desk to celebrate the end of a workday. Next up, how to handle coworkers. Now, let's just get something out of the way. The people you will work with at your office will behave nothing like the people from the TV show, The Office. At no point will someone drop a five gallon pot of chili on the floor or kiss a gay man to prove they're not homophobic. If that actually happened, I wouldn't be making YouTube videos right now. I'd be out there applying for jobs. No, instead your office will be filled with a bunch of people who take turns annoying the shit out of you with their meaningless nonsense. Whether it's talking about their weekend, or their family, or just lame gossip about one another, it's all just mindless filler talk. But don't worry, you're in luck, because I was able to develop a successful technique to avoid all of that crap. It's a little complicated to explain, so I'll just show you. Hey H, you'll never believe what happened. Last Saturday, me and the wife went on a picnic, in a pumpkin patch. We even took photos, you should see them. Go back to your fucking desk! Okay then, back I go. Don't need to tell me twice, this guy knows when he's overstayed his welcome. And now, just a final bit of advice, keep it fun. Look, at the end of the day, work is work and we're all gonna have to do it. So I recommend that you find something in your work that can bring you joy. And for me, that one joyful thing was something so simple. You see, I worked at an office for two months, and throughout those eight weeks, I constantly referred to the fax machine as the fox machine. Now, I'm not sure if no one really noticed, or maybe they just thought I had a speech impediment. But either way, no one ever called me out on it, and that brought me so much joy every single day. Oh, and also every time someone asked me for a hole punch, I would imagine they were talking about fisting.